Welcome to the Windows 7 IP config tunneling adapter issue. The Windows 7 tunneling adapter issue is when you run the IP config command and you get multiple tunneling adapters not allowing you to be able to view your IP address. This is a screenshot that I took earlier prior to fixing my tunneling adapter issue so that you could see exactly what I'm talking about. With the tunneling adapter issue, you can see here that I've got a tunnel adapter, local area connection, media disconnected, all the way up to 96. At the time, I had 137 of these total connections. Um, I haven't really noticed that these connections cause a lot of issues with the computer, but if you are trying to use IP config to troubleshoot your local area connection or your wireless connection, this seems to cause problems because you're not able to view your IP addresses. This is all you're able to view. So for those of you that don't quite know what I'm talking about with the IP config command or just just don't quite understand, I'll give you a quick, quick brief overview of IP config. Uh, what I need you to do is go to the lower left hand corner of your computer and left click on the start button or the Windows 7 flag logo. Once that opens up at the lower corner of the window you will see a search for programs and files. Just left click in that and type in CMD or Charlie Mike David and press enter. That's going to open up a command prompt window and in this command prompt window is where you're going to do the IP config command. So I want you to type in IP CONFIG, IP config and press enter. This is the IP config command. You'll see here it shows my wireless adapter, my local area connection, which is the connection for when my computer is plugged into wherever I get my internet via an actual cable instead of wirelessly like I currently am. Now the tunnel adapter issue, you'll see here I've got two tunnel adapters. Uh, I will go more over that here after a little bit. But the IP config command is very useful because if he doesn't show an IP address here under IPv4 address, that shows that you're not connected to the network. This is why this tunnel adapter issue can be kind of a big deal. So go ahead and close that by clicking the red X, the right hand corner. Once you've got that closed, go back down to the start button, the Windows 7 flag, click that, left click that. Go up to control panel, left click on control panel. Once you're in the control panel, your screen should look, look somewhat similar to mine. If it doesn't, it's probably because the view by here is set to category. So if your view by is set to category, just left click, scroll down to either large or small icons and left click on that and then it'll look similar to my screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the device manager. So left click on the device manager screen and your screen should pop up somewhat similar to what mine is currently. Once you're in the device manager, I want you to click the little white arrow to the left of the network adapters. Now your network adapter list should come up with probably only these a lot fewer items than what I have here. The reason mine has so many items is because this Microsoft 6 to 4 adapter, that's what we're going to be getting rid of to stop the tunnel adapter problem. Now there's two ways you can go about stopping the tunnel adapter problem. So let's go ahead and get it so you can view these. Come up to the top of your screen where the view is at, left click on view, scroll down to show hidden devices and left click on that. Once you left click on that, you should see your list grow extremely. Um, there's a couple of things in the list that you will notice uh, that I didn't have before, which is the Microsoft ISA TAP adapter and the tunneling pseudo interface. Those two are all part of that tunneling that you seen that you would have seen when I did the IP config and is also why I still currently have two on my list. Now all of these Microsoft 6 to 4 adapters. This is what's causing that massive list that you're getting. Again, like I said, there's two ways to get rid of them. 
the first way is to go to one of these six to four adapters and left click on it. Once you've left clicked on it, then you can come up here to the computer with the down arrow, which is for disabling. You also can right click on it and just say disable, left click on disable. It's gonna pop up with an, a message saying that if you do this, it's not gonna work. Do you really wanna do it? Just click yes. Your screen's gonna refresh. Once it refreshes, it should have a computer with a down arrow. Now, if you don't wanna leave these on here, which there is no reason to leave them on here, then you can also just click this computer with the red X, which is for uninstall. Or again, you can right click on one of the adapters, go to uninstall and left click on uninstall. Once you do that, again, you're going to get a warning telling you that your system's about to remove this and you just wanna click okay on that. This takes a few seconds depending on your computer and then your screen should refresh and the adapter will be gone. You wanna do that with all of the six to four adapters. Again, either disabling or uninstalling, either of which will work. Now, once you get down to the ISA TAP adapter and the pseudo interface, those are all gonna be a choice. If you plan on using IPv version six, which is the new internet protocol, then I would recommend leaving them because they are part of the IPv version six protocol. What the ISA TAP adapter does is that is a form of encryption for your IPv version six and the pseudo interface makes all the information coming from your computer and shrinks it down so that it'll fit on a IPv version four network, which is the same as what everybody is currently using. Now, if you plan on not using these, you can go ahead and again, click the computer with the red X and uninstall them. I am not going to uninstall mine because I do plan on using them. But again, with this message, just click OK. Same thing with the ISA TAP, just click uninstall. And then again, you would click OK. Or you can go through the disable steps and say, yes, you want to disable it. Same thing with the sudo. Yes, you want to disable it. Once you have done that, if you close this window and you can close the control panel window, go back down to the start button and left click on that and then go to the search programs and files, left click on that, type in the command CMD, Charlie Mike David, and press enter. This brings you back to the command prompt that we were in earlier. And again, you would type the command IP config and press enter. Now your screen should look more similar to mine depending on how many network adapters you have. Um, also depending on whether you disabled or deleted the pseudo interface or the ISA TAP adapter. If you did not delete them, yours should look like this. If you did delete them, then it shouldn't. Now for those of you that did delete the pseudo and the other adapter, tunnel adapter, we're gonna go ahead and ensure that your computer doesn't add these again. For those of you that did not, it's going to continue to add those from what I have read and periodically you're going to gonna to have to go in and delete the information. But again, just left click on the start icon in your lower left corner or the windows flag. Go to the control panel, left click on control panel. In control panel, you are going to be looking for network and sharing center. Left click on network and sharing center. It's gonna open up your network window. Once you are on your network window, you're gonna to go to the left hand side over here and click on left click on change adapter settings. Once you left click on change adapter settings, you should see all of your connections that you have with your computer. You're gonna to wanna to right click on one of your connections, go to properties, left click on properties. Once you're in the properties window, you'll see here internet protocol version six, internet protocol version four. Internet protocol version four is what everybody uses and you have to have for the internet to work properly. 
Internet Protocol version 6 is the one we were talking about that does the tunneling adapters. So to get rid of this, you're just going to clear the check mark by left clicking in the check mark box and then click OK. Once you've done that, then your computer will no longer try to connect to IPv version 6 and you'll be fine. Now if your computer is like mine and you have a wireless connection also, you're going to have to do that for the wireless connection. So left click on the wireless connection, again right click on it, go to properties, clear the check mark for the IP internet protocol version 6 and then click OK. Once you've done that, now those will no longer go to the Internet Protocol version 6, and you'll need to continue doing this with all your adapters. Once you have done with that, then you're simply just going to restart your computer. So you click on the Windows icon or the Start button in the lower left corner. You'll see the arrow next to Shutdown. Go up to Restart and click Restart. Your computer will re reboot, and everything will be functioning properly. And then you just want to make sure that after the reboot that this didn't come back up. So go down to the start icon or the Windows flag, left click it, left click in the search box again, type in CMD, Charlie Mike David, press enter. Once that's opened up, then you are going to want to type in IP config. When you hit IP config, the tunnel adapter should be gone. If not, then you are going to want to repeat the first few steps that I had shown you to verify that you have gotten all of the tunnel adapters out. Thanks for watching my Windows 7 tunnel adapter issue video. I hope this helps.